Hey guys and welcome back to I'm Beautiful Hustler TV. Today I will be doing this blonde look on Mama Hustler today. And today hair is provided by Eva Wigs. Now this is the natural color of the wig once it came out the box. It was already blonde but it was really like a real white girl, white girl blonde. Like I don't even know what color this is. Because it wasn't 613 it was more so like on the white-ish color. So I decided I was going to tone it today using um, Wellness T13 in the color uh, T27. And that's just like a light beige blonde and a dark um, ash blonde. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix that with some 40 volume developer. And I'm going to mix that all together and just, you know, paint it on the hair and let it sit for a while. So the hair can one, darken up and, you know, just be a little darker than what it is because this was extremely too too bright but even with the ring light being on and me um doing this process it still looked way brighter than what it is once you see it in a natural light so it did definitely uh, make the color a little bit darker and i have a regular um dye brush and i also bought like that little comb dye brush that i just showed you and first, I'm going to hit the closure part of this wig because this is a 5x5 five five, um, lace closure wig. And it is HD lace. When I tell y'all, it's the truth, okay? This is the real HD lace. As you can see, even on the mannequin, you don't even see where that lace is. That's how you know when you have that true HD lace. It just blends to perfection on any skin tone. But right now, I'm just taking my comb dye brush and just dipping it in that uh, volume and... Um, toner mix and I'm just painting it on and you can already see that it's going to be a darker color than what it is and I'm just taking that a uh, comb brush well paint combing brush whatever you want to call it like a dye combing brush but I'm using um that side of the uh the brush that has like a comb and like a dye brush together on one side I'm using that side to really get the roots and the top um, like the first two to three inches of the top of the wig and then I'm going to go in and start coloring the back of it. So now that I have all the color on the roots, I'm going to go ahead and take my combination and begin to apply it on all the hair. And you can kind of see uh, the color um, that it's going to be changed to. It's definitely darker than what the wig started off to be. And I'm just going to grab piece by piece and just apply that color on there. And, you know, just really make sure I rub it in and everything like that. And you can also use a comb and just comb through it as well just to make sure the color gets on every strand. But I pretty much mixed it all in and then I just, you know, rubbed it all together once I was done adding the color on all the pieces. But I'm just going to quickly do this until the color is all over the wig.
So now that that color is all over the wig, I'm just going to continue to just massage it on in and make sure it's on all the strands. And once I let that sit for about 20 minutes, I will go ahead and shampoo and condition it with the Shimmering Lights uh, Toning Shampoo uh, just to make sure that, you know, it's just all the color is out, it's still toned and everything like that. And this is what the wig looks like before I went to go shampoo it off. And of course, I blow dried, well, kind of blow dried the wig, but I'm, I'm going to blow dry the rest of it once I actually begin, um, you know, installing the wig. But today's model is uh, Mama Hustler. And she always, if y'all know, she got this crazy obsession for everything got to be blonde, 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 blonde. I don't know where she gets this face from, but anywho. Once they saw me this wig, I knew that she would want it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply for her today. And I'm just taking um, the Kisses Foundation in the color Cognac. And I applied it on the top of the lace and the inside of the lace as well. And the makeup did kind of spread on the hair a little bit in the front once I started hot combing. So um, it did kind of get like brown just a little bit in that front top area. But, you know it's okay so um like about right about here when i um hot combed it it did get on the color um hair just a little bit but as i mentioned it was fine but now i'm gonna go in with my layers of adhesive get it all you know spread it out and once it turns clear i will go ahead and lay my wig down now that I have all the layers applied I will go ahead and begin my melting process but I did do things um, a lot differently today actually um, what I did after blow drying and hot combing that lace in I just went right ahead and raised it off the extra lace and once I raised it off the extra lace I went ahead and you know parted the wig down to uh, down the center because we are doing a, a simple just middle part look and once I raised that off, like I said, I uh, went ahead and, you know, did the middle part. And then I'm going to, like, spray the lace and tie it down. So I did do things differently today. But, you know, it don't really matter which technique you use as long as the hair is laid. Before um, I even tied it down, I went ahead and, uh, you know, parted it off the middle part and the sections around the back to cover the tracks of the closure part of the wig. Um, and I'm just going to quickly hot comb and flatten out that top area so it's nice and neat. And I'm just taking a little more foundation, tapping it across the hairline using the Got To Be Spray, um, spraying across the hairline. And then once I smooth everything down and in, I will go ahead and tie it down with the melt belt.
so after uh, smoothing all of that down, I'm going to go ahead and remove the melt bell. And now I'm going to start pressing out the hair using my Infinity uh, Pro Flat Iron. And I told you guys, you can purchase this same exact flyer. Flyer. <laughs> this same exact flat iron at your local Walgreens. And I think so, you know, even on Walmart, they have them as well. Um, and they're only $35, guys. Like, this is a really, really great uh, product for a very affordable price. And I love Infinity Pro. I don't buy, like, $200, $300, $400, $500 flat irons, which I, one day, when I stop being cheap in my mind, I will buy it. But for right now, my $35 flat irons do me just fine. And I'm, I've been in this game nine years, baby. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's the real deal, y'all. So y'all can get y'all a nice little flat iron. It don't have to be, you know, pocket breaking. It could be a nice, simple $40 flat iron. And also Ross and like TJ Maxx and those little discount stores like that, they also be having um, bomb flat irons for about that same price or cheaper. So, you know, you have to invest in yourself, guys, and you have to invest in your tools. But it don't have to break your pockets, if you know what I mean. that their hair is all pressed out i'm gonna go ahead and um last but last but not least um, i'm gonna take that same cognac foundation color and i'm going to apply it through the part to make the part crisp and clean and make it stand out more but i'm just gonna take a little got to be spray and just you know um smoothing out the top make sure there's no flyaways and then i will go in and define that part which defining the part as like a complete tint to the look like it just makes it stand out so much more so now that i went ahead and concealed that part i'm just gonna go over the top again with a flat iron and these are the finishing looks she finally got her blonde now she can stop aggravating me but thank you guys for tuning in and see you next time